Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science, and today I want to talk very quickly about compositing, specifically fog compositing. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. Right here in my timeline, I've got a piece of stock footage that I pulled off the web. And above that, I have a piece of stock footage of fog or smoke. And the smoke's moving upward. Typically, what I see happen is the motion designer will come in to the smoke layer or fog layer and go from normal to screen. And boom, you've got fog over the top of your footage. Well, this isn't uh, so true to life because as you can see, when I turned it to screen, the fog lightened up the scene. That's not how fog is displayed visually. So the proper way to composite fog is very simple. All we have to do is keep our fog on normal, go to effect, channel, shift channels, right here where it says take alpha from alpha, we change this to luminance. That's gonna take all of the black values from the footage and make those transparent, as you can see right here. So without the effect, here's the black areas, turn it on, and boom, it's transparent. Well, it's getting close, but still not quite there. All we have to do is go back to effect, generate, fill, and I'm gonna tint this fog to match the color in the scene. So all I have to do is just turn this off, color pick something maybe about there, turn the layer on, and turn the fill layer on, and there we go. Let me do a quick preview. So there you can see our composited fog in the scene. And just to show you the difference, this is the composited fog. If I duplicate this layer, turn off the effects, and set it to screen, like most people do, that's what the screen mode looks like. And here's what ours looks like. So I'll toggle between them. Screen mode, composited fog. So really quick video this week. Hope you learned something new. Until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.